Hey everybody, Shabo here, back for another video and today I will be showing you how to make a moving part in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open this top bar, go to view if you are not there already, click on explore and properties, go to home, and then we're going to get three parts. You can move them around by using these tools here. I'm just going to scale them like this into cubes. Now we're going to decide which is the moving part. So I'm going to make this one my moving part. And these are going to be the positions that it's going to move to. So we're going to just move this to wherever. And then I'm going to move this one to here. Now we're going to change the properties of these. So I'm just going to change the transparency. So you want to you want to select both of them. You can hold control and then click them, go to properties, and then go to transparency. I'm going to change it to 0.5. If you don't want to see them at all, you can change it to 1 and they'll be completely invisible. I'll do 0.5 for the tutorial though. And then you're going to want to scroll down, make sure they do not collide, and then you can turn off these ones if you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to keep them off for this. And then you're going to want to anchor it. Now we're going to make our parts start moving between both of them. We're going to name these for when we do our scripting. So I'm going to name this one pose 1, which is just position 1, and then this one pose 2, position 2. Now I'm going to name this moving part. You don't have to name it, but I'm just going to name it. Now we're going to go to explore, right click it, insert object, attachment, and then right click it again insert object and then align position and if you don't want it to spin uncontrollably whenever you stand on it right click it insert object align orientation now for the align orientation if you have that you're going to want to go here change the mode to one attachment turn this on and then change the attachment zero to this we're going to do mostly the same for the align position mode one attachment attachment zero that and then you can turn this on if you want. This will give it infinite force, but if you don't have this on, it'll make it look a lot smoother whenever it moves. I'm just going to keep it off. Now we're going to group all of it together. So click. You hold control during this. Click, click, click. Control G on your keyboard, or you can right click, group as a model, and that'll work too. Now moving part, I'll just name it that. Now we're going to open it up right click it, insert object, and then a script. Now we're going to start scripting. So I'm going to delete this because we don't really need it. Then local model equals script.parent, script to the model. These are variables. Local moving part equals model, wait for child moving part. It'll wait for this to load in and set it as a variable. We're going to do the same for the other ones. So the local position one equals model, wait for child, pose one and then we're going to put dot position because we only want the position of it we don't want the actual part because that doesn't really matter and then local position two equals model wait for child pose two dot position same thing as the first line now we're going to make an infinite loop so while task dot wait five do it makes an infinite loop this will run every five seconds now moving part dot align position dot position equals position two so it'll move to position two now we're going to wait five more seconds and then we can just copy this control c or copy or you can type it out and then control v or paste and then position one instead it should be working so we can press play and as you can see the part will move between the positions. If you want it to be faster than that, first you want to stop the game before you make changes. So we're going to press stop, go to the moving part, the moving part again, then align position, and then you can change the speeds and stuff in here. So what I would do is just change the responsiveness to like 200 or something, which is the max for that. And then you can change the force if you want. I'll just put an extra zero. And then we can press play. And as you can see, it'll move. 
it's a bit fast, but that's kind of what I changed it to do. Now you can press stop again. Now if your part isn't carrying you, it might be because the part is too small. For some reason, if the part is too small, it will not carry you at all. So as you can see, if we press play here, and then I go to stand on it, it will not carry me at all. I'll just slide off. And it doesn't have anything to do with the part speed. If I just change it to this, I will not get carried. If I change the size to this, and then I turn this off, I'm going to lower the speed a bit, 10,000. It should carry me with it whenever I stand on it. And yeah. That's how you make a moving part in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace. Also make sure to check out my game in the description below.